Today on Cars of Queens, we have the Windstar's cousin, a 1994 Mercury Sable GS. So despite being the Sable uh, Mercury, the slightly more luxurious brand, uh, this is the base model GS, so it doesn't really come with much of the features or anything. But I absolutely love, love, love this generation of the uh, Fords. This uh, platform, the DN5 platform that the Windstar, Sable, the Taurus um, all shared. I just think it's a beautiful, timeless car. I mean, of course, this is the wagon. Everybody loves a good old wagon. As you guys can see, it has a really vintage dealer frame from um, Lincoln of uh, Queens Boulevard. But this one's been here for a while. I actually had made contact with the owners uh, a while ago. I believe it had some kind of electrical problems that caused it to uh, not start anymore. As you guys can see, we got some rust in the usual spot. These DN5 cars, especially the Windstars, they always tend to rust up in this area. It's kind of like how the Crown Vicks always like to uh, rust up on the fender, on the uh, front fenders. Um, in the same way, this has a weak spot. This one's kind of been turned into a uh, into a storage unit, but I did make contact with the owners. I think he also said that he lost the title, but you know, titles are easy enough to get as long as you're the owner. You can literally just go on the DMV's website and order another title. Back here we have a spare. You guys can see there. We have roof rails, and then we also have an abandoned Maximo over there. I swear, guys, these private driveways um, are like gold mines especially in new york city you walk around go behind to the uh private driveway and you're you, you're bound to find some cool cars like this maxima has been abandoned here for a while and it's actually relatively nice um i can only wonder what's caused them to be dumped back here this i know the maxima i don't but i just really really love the headlight design the connecting headlights and i think it would look even nicer if it all lit up all at once but just a beautiful car i love to get this as a project um you guys have to let me know in the comments you guys think it's worth it i've been in contact with the owners for a little while they obviously live right here um so one day when i was taking pictures i ran into them and they were like okay um you know give us a call give us a shout and uh we can go from there but i would love 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 to save something like this you know not too many of these especially out over here in new york city where our cars don't really have a long lifespan these are extremely extremely hard cars to come by and i think it would make a good car for the channel to save something like this uh, it just depends on how bad exactly the electrical issues are on this car but just really cool i mean you, they don't even make wagons much anymore besides volvo and a few other makes um but you know, this is just very versatile, great car for transporting stuff. You can fit a bunch of stuff in a wagon, but it still handles like a car per se, rather than a big bulky, heavy SUV. So I really, really love wagons, especially this egg. No, well, no, this isn't the egg shape, but, or, or the blob as I like to call it, which is the next gen Taurus and Sable, but I just really love this design. I would see these all the time as a kid in the 2000s these 90s ford products were everywhere i just especially really really do love how the dash is kind of curved this is the usual steering wheel that you'd find on the crown vicks and tauruses pretty much all fords of this era mustangs even shared this kind of um steering wheel similar dash setup as well what do you guys think should I save her? Is it worth all the trouble? Is it worth all the hassle that comes with a 90s, an old 90s car with electrical issues? Let me know in the comments below. But that's it for this little walk around video. If you guys enjoyed this video, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys on the next one.